What's up everybody, Ricky here. Welcome back to the Garage Gym. Now I've been wanting to do this video for a while now and I think I finally decided how I'm going to do it. So I wanted to do a full cost breakdown of everything that I have in the Garage Gym, but there's so much stuff that what I'm going to do, I'm going to grab the camera, I'm going to walk through a tour essentially, and I'm going to rattle off the prices for as much as I can remember things cost. So I'm going to hit the highlights and then I'm going to have a full spreadsheet breakdown at the end, which will show each category, how much it was, resulting in the total at the bottom of the screen. It's not there yet. It's going to be at the end. Uh, so without further ado, let's check out the garage gym. All right, so if you're unfamiliar with the garage gym, I'll give you a quick overview and then we'll start going through kind of piece by piece, or at least the things that I can remember. Single car garage, it's pretty full right now, uh, but I think overall I did pretty well with the space that I have. So let's get started. The centerpiece, of course, is the Rogue RM4 Monster Rack Series 2.0. I went with the straps as well as the Monster Sandwich J-Cups, which were a little bit of an addition uh, to the normal price of the RM4. So, all in on my purchase of the rack, it was about $1,720. So that does have the upcharge for the straps. Can't remember how much the upcharge for that was. I know the upcharge for the Monster uh, J-Cups was somewhere between $150 and $200 because I think they're about 250, 260 bucks on their own. I could be wrong on that, but for the rack, we're at 1700. I have the Rep Fitness FB 5000 with the wide pad. Took a while before this bad boy popped up in stock, but it was $202 shipped. I love this thing. One of my favorite benches of all time. Next step, let's go to the plates. So I went with the calibrated pound plates because I think they're beautiful. I also power lift, so why not have calibrated plates? And they came in stock before the other plates that I was looking at. So all in all, these were about my, so I had to do it in a couple orders because things weren't in stock. So the reds and the blues, and I wanna say a pair of the tens was somewhere around 1700 and 20 as well. It worked out to be almost the same price as the rack. And then I did get the yellow and green plates, the 35s and 25s after the fact. So if I had to guess, like I said, I'll have a price breakdown later, but if I had to guess, I'm around 2000 and the calibrated plates, I did get two pairs of 10s. I've yet to get the fives and two and a halfs. I did spend $300 on machined plates because I had I had two more uh, fives and I had four tens. Uh, I know those plates all together are 310, but I have since sold um, all of the tens and then a pair of the fives because I've just been using these tens and I'm hoping to get the rest of those calibrated plates soon. So that's where we're at on weights. Next up, let's go barbells. We might as well start with the Titan SSB that we have in the Organizer right here or the weight tree weight tree by the way is CFF fit Comes with the six pegs that as you can see are full size so you can put 45s wherever you want to put 45s with the two bar holder that was around somewhere around $200 this Titan safety squat bar 220 got that from Titans website now let's run down through the bars the top bar is a Cerakote Ohio Power Bar that was 340. Next up, a Bear Steel Ohio uh, Ohio Power Bar. Uh, that one was 220 or 240, I believe. Next up is the Black Zinc uh, Texas Power Bars Texas Deadlift Bar. That was $420. It took freaking forever to get here. ISF Squat Bar. That one's bare steel. Uh, since it's a squat bar, it's going to be thicker. I believe it's 32 millimeter. That one was about $320. Kabuki Cadillac Bar. I want to say that was around 
480 shipped. It was something like 420 and then shipping was about 60 bucks, something like that. Again, I'll have a breakdown at the end. Titan Cambered Squat Bar, this is the best deal that I got. It was only 100 bucks on Facebook and it was barely used, so I was pretty excited about that. Our power blocks here, these are the five through 90 pound set. Still has a sticker on there. As you can guess, I got these used. They were $650 on Facebook. Keep in mind this was, and as we still are, uh, during the COVID pandemic, so that's a fantastic price. I probably could have flipped those rather easily. Um, I'm not gonna be able to remember how much attachments are, so I'm just gonna throw that in at the end. I wanna say that was around 120 for the landmine, around $150 for the dip attachment. And this little guy for T-Bar Rose, I bought a full set of Titan equipment, rack, whatever, whatever. Ended up selling most of it, but I kept that. So essentially I'm in that for free. Coming over here, it's a similar story with the cable attachments. I got pretty much all of those when I bought out somebody's gym, sold most of it, kept those. Um, so essentially I'm in those for free. The wall control pegboards, I love those. They came from Amazon. Something like $120 for the four boards and attachments that I have on there right now. The Titan farmer's handles were about 60 bucks, maybe 65. Captains of Crush grippers, I think I'm in those around $125 for all of them. Um, haven't graduated out of the two and a half yet, so we've got some gripping to do before I need to buy any more. The Titan Fitness lat pull down with the 300 pound stack. That guy was around 1150 shipped. I was super excited about that because it's another one of the things that popped up in stock and luckily I was able to jump on it. The Titan Reverse Hyper, aka the not reverse hypers, the HP and D or whatever they <laughs> decided to call it was around 570 shipped. Again, Titan ships free, so you don't need to worry about shipping costs there. It's just built in to the price. The mirrors, one of the most exciting parts, because obviously you have to have mirrors in your garage gym and it makes it look cool and you get to check out your pump. Those were around 100, $120 installed. I did put them up myself, it was pretty easy. Essentially what you do is you get a little J channel that goes at the bottom, you screw it into the wall, into the studs of course, and then you get these little hooks that go in at the top to keep it in place. Real easy, don't get scared of it, just be careful. Uh, wear gloves when you're handling the mirrors. TV and sound bar. I think I got that as a steal on Facebook for around $150. I did have to spend some money on a wall mount, some tools, and then I have some LEDs in the back that you can never see because the lights are so bright, so somewhere around $200 for all of that. We do have the band hanger here. I want to say that was around 27. An assortment of bands varying prices based on how thick they are. I think Lauren actually has this band from our high school back in the day. I already had the slingshot, so we won't count that price, but I believe those are around 60 or $70. I might as well take this moment to show you this cool belt that I won last summer at the Supplement Superstore block party on a bench press contest. It's Pioneer with the Pioneer Cut single prong, 13 millimeter suede both sides. It's their splatter paint, which I love. I was able to personalize it, and this is what I did. Put a little saying on the inside so that I can still use it in competition because that's on the inside. Love the belt, that would be around $250, but like I said, didn't pay for it, so that's cool. Deadlift platform is super cheap to make. I wanna say it's around $150, just two sheets of three quarters inch plywood, um, a nicer four by four to finish off the top, three quarters as well, and then some mats from Amber and Andrew's house that they gave me for free because they had extra. The deadlift hooks are around 60 or $70. Would definitely recommend those. They're from Titan, uh, real well built, and they add some functionality to the platform. Next up, we'll go with the Air King 9318, I believe. That was about $100 off Amazon. And then the other climate control device is this little space heater that was 75. Let's walk over to our fourth wall control unit. We have some cheap plastic clamps that I kept from some of the gym equipment that I was selling. 
But these are the guys that I actually use and care about. These are the Rogue Collars. I have a review of those up on the page already. They were 65 because they have that pretty uh, finish on them. So that adds about $15. The aluminum is 50. About 10 bucks for a this little brush and some oil. It's the Rogue Barbell Cleaning Kit. You could definitely just go to Walmart um, and get that stuff instead of spending the money for it. All in all, in flags and banners. This guy came from Amazon. We've got a flag nor fail flag there. A demand greatness, a seven banner. Good days only, flag nor fail. Stronger than before, a seven, flag nor fail, and another a seven down here, as well as the hustle, flag nor fail flag. Up there, all in all, banners, flags, I'm around $200 on those. Let me do a little double check through here. I think we covered almost everything. We do have a Cleva built deadlift jack down there. I love that thing, it's around 75. I got it pretty early, so I got a little bit of a discount on it. One last gander, see if we missed anything. I, that, I think that pretty much covers everything. Uh, like I said, that doesn't really give you a breakdown of the cost, but I'm gonna put that up at the end of the video and we'll be able to chat about what the total is. All right, so to wrap things up, I've got my spreadsheet here in front of me. Paint supplies, we're at $135.30. We painted the whole room, did kills to start with, so that added into the cost there. Flooring, $462.56. Those were tractor supplies, stall, horse stall mats from tractor supply. Uh, we got around 11 of those. Lighting, $55.99. T5 lights, from Amazon, they're fantastic. Mirrors, $109.58, those were from Home Depot. TV and sound bar, $206.44. The rack, $1,720.80, that includes a couple of the attachments that are on it. Bars, $2,119.91. Plates, $2,343.40. That includes the profit I made $200 from selling the change plates or the fives and tens that I didn't need. The bench was $202 from Rep Fitness. Deadlift platform, so the platform and the hooks, $179.99. Power blocks from Facebook, $650. The various machines, so the reverse hyper and the lat pull down, both from, Titans, from Titan Fitness, $1,664.98. Decor, so all the banners and flags that I have, $200.21. Organization, $439.49. So that's the plate storage, the gun rack, and the wall control units. Our fancy climate control, $173.08. So that's the fan and the space heater. Various accessories, so rack attachments, the grippers, bands, uh, collars, the type of stuff that doesn't fit into those other categories, $1,000. $31.28, so that gives us a grand total of $11,695.01. So this is a little bit on the higher end, especially for a single car garage, and it's totally way more than you need to get started, so don't let that discourage you. You can totally start for well under $2,000, closer to the $1,000 mark, and you're gonna have more than enough to get started, squat bench deadlift, overhead press, that type of thing. I went a little bit extra on here and I'm probably never gonna make my money back from it unless I sell it. And the reason I say that is I actually manage a gym in downtown Kansas City and I'm there every single day anyway so I could just work out there. Uh, but sometimes I like to work out at home and I've always wanted a garage gym. So, interesting decision on my part but that is the full breakdown. If you have any questions on anything that I have in the gym or there's something that you want me to do a review on, comment down below and I'll try to get back to you. Uh, if you haven't already, like the video, press subscribe and turn on that bell notification because there's a lot more coming.